All right, what's going on with you guys? In this video, I'm gonna quickly share with you how you can actually make your uh, ECS services deployment more reliable. And by that, I mean the, the really thorough monitoring of your Elastic Container Service events, right? So what are those events? For instance, if you go to any kind of uh, your services, uh, you, can, you can see the tasks here and each task, uh, if, you, if you open it up, it, it has different kind of statuses, uh, information, whatever. And uh, whenever it changes the status from running to pending, from to stopped, whatever, uh, the, the ECS server produces an event. And why it is very, very crucial? Because sometimes when you deploy a new service and it started crashing, uh, even uh, unable to go live, uh, your logs won't show any kind of information that your service is attempting to crash. Your last deployment will still continue running, but um, your new deployment won't be able to release because of those crash. And I, f I faced this situation like a few days ago where most of my service deployments were crashing and I didn't get any kind of monitoring alerts about it because my monitoring system was adjusted to just um, see the logs. So that's why I decided to figure out how we can actually monitor our ECS logs. So by default, AWS CloudWatch metrics are not offering um, ECS logs uh, metrics, right? So we need to um, create them by our ourselves. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically, we're doing it in very simple steps. So first of all, uh, we can go to Amazon Event Bridge service. Um, and this service can allow us really to subscribe to the Amazon ECS events. And then we can forward them to the... Um, we can forward them to the uh, CloudWatch logs, right? So we can... All the events we have, we can log in CloudWatch. And to do this, uh, I'll go ahead and create a new rule here. Let's name it ECS events. Uh, I'll leave all this default. And then um, here we should choose AWS events, select search for ECS. Uh, and I would choose task state change. But you can also uh, choose container instant change are usually creating for, for, for both of these so it brings kind of extra uh, level of reliability here if you have them for both for task change and for container instant change uh, and here we have the, the payload uh, simple which shows us how the data structure of this event would look like so we can see here uh, we can we can observe here the the current status of our container the desired so whenever we make some changes here we can observe anything uh, all right so let's go ahead and configure the the pattern by which we should we want to filter those events right and usually we just get a simple pattern which is all events so our source in the event we can see that the source which is AWS ECS um, we can filter them by this source. But let's say we also want to um, capture events only for some particular ECS cluster, right? So we have here multiple clusters and we want only for this backend DAO, right? So for that, for that uh, we actually need to take a look on this payload. And here in the payload, we can see the detail uh, object contains cluster ARN and we can filter by that value and to get a cluster ARN you can go here choose your cluster and copy this value and yeah let's go ahead and filter these uh, we can edit pattern and add the filter so we're doing pretty much simply the same as we almost the same as our JSON object looks like so we, we, we get detail and then cluster ARN. So let's go ahead, detail, object, then cluster ARN. And then we have the array of potential values you want to allow for the cluster. And I'm just pasting the ARN of my uh, value. And then we can, we can test this pattern, right? Uh, and we see that it didn't match the event. This is because in our sample, 
we have another ARN specified. So I'll go ahead and for this test purpose copy the, the ARN of this sample and paste it here and then test pattern. Okay, it looks great, so it matches the pattern. So it means whenever we get an event from this cluster, uh, we've got it triggered. So I reward it to the backend um, Dell uh, ARN. Okay, then click next, um, and we need to choose uh, the target. So where should we forward these events to? And for the target, we choose CloudWatch Log Group, and let's call it events dev um, AWS events dev right um, we can create and then click just click next uh, so yeah that's it we created it we can create a rule and we have we have it ready here AWS events okay now we have the log, logs group created so we can go ahead and refresh our AWS log groups and yeah we have AWS events DAO let's take a look here so no logs so far yeah we've got the first log here so we can take a look on this log yeah and we have this payload of our real service we can see the um, the the name of the service we can see the state we can see whatever we want to see, right? Um, but what I want to do, really, I want to capture, I want to capture the um, events that are. I want to capture the events that are uh, identifying any kind of crash. Uh, okay, to better explain, and go ahead and change the cluster for this test example because this cluster right now for me it contains some issues, uh, some errors, uh, so I'll, I'll modify this rule here to filter by this cluster instead of filtering by, okay, edit pattern by the Del one. Okay, here we go, next, leave everything the same, next, um, our day. So why I'm doing that? Because uh, I want to show you how the error uh, log will look like in the CloudWatch here. So let's go ahead to our log groups and see whether we have some uh, errors so far. Not yet. Okay, we have stopped. Yeah, we have. So we can. Um, yeah, here for the stop event, we can we can see the the, the desired status stop. But we also can see stopped reason and stopped code. And what we're looking at, we're looking when the stop code is a task uh, failed to execute or, or whatever it's called. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so if so, it means that our actually our container has failed for some reason. Our our task, our ACS task has failed. And I want to uh, create a matrix that will monitor the container failures and then on bet on the on based on the metric i can send the events to the sns and then uh, send notification to my notification channels monitoring adjusted by sns but right now right now i'll uh, i'll just uh show you an example uh, how we how we should filter those log events to really understand um you understand the error. Oh, here you can see you, you can see the stopped reason, resource initialization error, and also stop code task failed to start. So it means like we should alert this because this is something wrong. There you see some timeout occurred. Uh, so yeah, and for that we we need to create the filter. Um, and let's go to our logs and the matrix filter. Uh, and create matrix filter. So what I'm doing uh, in the pattern here, I'll go ahead and copy my already created pattern. So I, I, I have it in the uh, Terraform code. I'll show. I'll explain in a minute about it. All right. So I just need to remove the characters escaping uh, backslashes here. Uh, so yeah. Okay. I've just created this pattern. What this pattern does? It's sim it's simply. Uh, checks that the detail stop code is task failed to start so we filter all the logs and 
uh, we're specifying this dummy kind of dummy filtering so the tail group is anything right there is no reason logically to specify it because if you won't specify it it, it it will mean the same but there is one point about it I'll show you right now so as we see in our logs that um, task failed to start and now we can we can test it against any kind of log group and we see that yeah we were able to filter logs where we have some crash re reports here uh, right uh, and it means that our pattern works uh, why do we need this detail group? In our payload, you can see the detail group contains the name of the service um, which which controlling the task we are running, right? And uh, this is a good thing because we can create a, a metric dimension. So we're creating right now we're creating a CloudWatch metric uh, for the for the log group filtering, and we want uh, to this metric to be uh, kind of like generic, right, but we want to have dimensions, and I want to filter logs, which, which I'm getting from the cluster error logs by the service, right, so I know that these logs are about this particular service, uh, so yeah, I'll just create a name for this, uh, uh, for this filter, namespace, uh, we can just type ECS um, events, I don't know, just a dummy one, metric name, metric value, whatever, default value. Yeah, here we can uh, like ECS errors, uh, metric value one, um, default value, I, I'll skip it, and then we have dimensions here. And for the dimensions, I want to filter by this group, so that's why I'll go ahead and type um group the name of the dimension is group and the value would be pretty much this this string right so um i'll go ahead and check it with my code yes yeah, so I'll, i've done it the same way and it means so we can specify the the group dimension the value of the group dimension to be equal to this field and thus we can filter um we can filter the uh, our logs, our error, error metrics by specific uh, detail group, which which means in that in that case the ECS service or family, whatever. Okay, let's let's go to the next. So we have it ready. We can create this this matrix filter. So once have it ready, we we can yeah we can uh, use it in our uh, alarms. We can create an alarm. Uh, I'm not going to be showing uh, how to do it, uh, but you can you can do it yourself and uh, use this metric in your alarm, and thus you will be able to uh, to create the SNS notification. Well, I'm not going to show you because I have everything in the Terraform uh, uh, infrastructure as a code script. So I'll share the script with you. You can see the complete uh, setup that will allow you to really uh, set up these event tracing and um, with SNS notifications you can send the emails or any trigger some lambda with some custom monitoring uh, systems pushing uh, through the SNS platform. Uh, so yeah this is pretty much it but um, if we really want to explore our logs uh, here in the console you can find that it's going to the log groups and see different kind of log streams and usually this log stream for some reason contains only one log this is this is not as as good because you can't properly filter in search for them so for that reason uh, we need to use log insights tool by AWS which really is a simple great tool that can help us filter logs so we need to choose our um, log group we just created and we can select them if we run this query so it will simple fetch us all of these messages which is better than we saw in the log groups but still we might um, we might actually structure them in the better way so we can instead of just selecting the message we can select the let's say detail um, yeah it actually highlights us we can detail it has a great highlight syntax. We can type detail, 
um, desired status, then detail. Uh, we have stop code, then detail stop reason, right? We can select all this, and let's at the beginning we, we also add detail detail group. That's what we were filtering by. All right, so we have we have all this. We can run this query and have data better structured. So now we can see the logs in more structured way. Here is the the, the service name. Uh, I can't. Uh, okay, yeah. So our, our different kind of services we have. Then the status, and then we can see the the reason why it, it's failed. So we, we see that task failed and the reason why it's failed. And it's pretty useful. So we can filter those events, look them. Yeah, and we can even extend it and do it like this. So we can choose filter, um, detail, uh, stopped reason equals. Let me let me choose these uh, reasons. So we only want to see the failure, right? Fail it. Oh, I, I did something wrong, I guess. Uh, maybe I should put it like this. No. Stop reason. Okay, I guess I'm just misleading the syntax. Okay, never mind. Uh, Stop it. Okay, so yeah, no, no, no. It's not the that. It's I should choose stopped code, but yeah, stopped reason. Yeah, like this, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Now I should, I guess. Uh... Okay, here you go. So now we can see only logs about our failed uh, services, right? And see that. Uh, the reason why they are failing. And this is much more user friendly to see those logs that way than go to each service separately and discover why it's failing. Um, and as I, as I uh, suggested to you previously, uh, to make it, if you have all your AWS infrastructure, probably somewhere in, in infrastructure as a core, right? So I'm going to share with you the Terraform, which actually contains the simple resources, how you can create all of this. So basically, you create the log group, you, you create the same magic filter for log group that we did with the pattern and dimension, then you, you create the the uh, event bridge rule, so it's called CloudWatch here because uh, the event bridge service used to call um, CloudWatch events, right, but now it's called event bridge, so we still have this the same name notation, yeah, you, you're creating, you're filtering by the same cluster, then you create the, the target, which is log group, and then you, you create the alarm, uh, which where you specify the name, the threshold, uh, different kind of condition, the matrix, which is the same as we specified it here. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, then I'm just uh, specifying my SNS topic to where I want to push the alarm actions and OK actions. I'm treating missing data as breaching, uh, right? And I'm specifying the dimension, which is service, uh, colon, semicolon, right? And the name of my of my uh, ECS service. So yeah, this is pretty much simple Terraform setup for what I've just did manually. I'll share the link to it in the description to this video so you can reuse it for, uh, for your purposes. I even uh, tried to extend it uh, to at the SNS topic creation and uh, and uh, yeah notification uh, mechanism. So go ahead and see this code in the description below. But yeah, this is this is how it works. This is basically right now we have our ECS uh, ECS um, cluster really really reliable because all of our service events are getting monitored. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're looking for it, if you want to see more video like this about the reliability of your AWS services 
or any kind of deployments, hit the like button at the comments so I'll know and create more videos like this. In any case, thanks for watching and I hope it brings you some value. That was Yuri Kuzemko. Bye-bye.